Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the digital site and in last lecture we have seen how we can create local components and we also created this demo.view component and in today's lecture we will learn about wraps which means referencing our DOM element. So first of all I am going to create an input and I will reference it in this script tag. So let's first create input tag, type will be text. And for this, we will use wrap attribute. Here you can give any name, whatever you like. For simplicity, I am giving it input element. Now I want to do something when button is clicked with this input. So I have to create a button on click. I am calling submit method. okay and then I will define a new method okay so how can we access this wrap attribute for this we can use these dot wraps please note if we type it here it will be wrap and in our this dot wrap it will be wraps plural okay this dot wraps not this dot wrap and don't forget that dollar sign and now if i console log this one two three and submit and we have an object and there's one input element and we have something like this all this property And instead of doing this I can also reference it like name input element like this and here let's clear console and ABC and our input now next thing I want to show you is let's say I have a data attribute X and it's set to none so how can I access this? Let's go over browser and it gives me input element and if you look at here attributes it contains our data X. So how can you access that? Okay. I will first reference my input element and then attributes like this and now if I console log this uh -oh, it's down here and it gives me type and data x and I want to access data x which on index 1 so I will use 1 Let's clear this, submit and data x is equal to none. Now next thing we are going to see is what if, if I have for loop like I am building a sidebar and I have referenced each sidebar item and that item is coming from v4. Let's test that. We should give it p tag will be better okay now in item number one item number two item number three okay cool now let's use wrap here let's say item and now if I console log these dot wraps what will be output in the console uh oh we are missing that button on click okay it is giving me array array of p tags
so got it you can access that using item which will be array then you can use indexes let's say i want to access first so i will use zero for second it will be one like arrays so this is how you can use wrap with v4 that's it for this lecture and see you in the next one don't forget to like share and subscribe